to say whatever he's going to say, but I picked it because God knew that you could get that job done. I mean, God can't trust any other person with that job. I'm, I'm not saying he can't. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I said can't, but right. I don't mean that can't, like can't do it. But he knew that you could do whatever it is that he, I and mean, I'm just using you. I mean, you know, I don't want nobody to judge. Huh? <laughs> I, I'm just saying that even though uh, Richard Jones or whoever came into that job, God had that job already in view for you. Because he knew that you could do that job. He knew that you were not going to back up. He knew that you was going to stand on the truth. He knew you were going to stand on the word. But see, sometimes we're just an ordinary favor. I mean, it might be a difference because I'm, I'm not seeing that we're not going to make the studies. Maybe he ain't said it the way you got here. But with God, the favor, highly favor with God. Hey, he picked that job even though he was going to go through some things. But God knows, hey, I can trust that. I can trust God to do that. I know even though she's going to go through that door, I know she can handle it. Right, right. Oh, I can't handle that job. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. So he, he's not going to pick you because he can't handle it no way. And that doesn't mean that you're not a child of the king. Which you are, but he can't trust you because in times that he needs you to be doing what you need to do, you're not doing it. Or it's complicated for you. You know what I'm saying? So you're not going to do it. Yeah. Like you should have did. Exactly. So he's going to pick somebody that he has favor with to do whatever it is that he can do. I believe that. I like you, bro. I'm kind, of I'm kind of piggybacking what you said. If you watch as Joseph's life starts to unfold, God tells him in the dream what he's going to do. All those things. And Joseph doesn't really know what's really in him until he goes through what he has to go through. Uh, as a reading, let me read this little thing here. Joseph was also given a unique opportunity to develop his leadership qualities instead of merely reporting on his brothers and all this stuff God was uniquely through all this stuff he was going through because he was over the prophet's house overseeing and so he, God was teaching him leadership now he goes we're going to read this in a minute he goes to prison and watch this, he's going, there's going to be another step of leadership. God starts to unfold and starts to develop the leadership in the favor that's in Joseph. Joseph don't know what's all in him. But God start to, is starting to slowly unfold the qualities that's in Joseph. God slowly unfolds in us the qualities that's in us. But God watches us. He's got to shake some stuff in our lives to let us see what's really in us. <laughs> without without being shaken up, you can't see what's in you. Uh, not that he was perfect. He made some mistakes. But still, the mistakes he didn't learn. I, 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 I'm learning something. I, I got a note I, 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 uh, in one of my books. I said, and this is to myself, and I'll just share this with you all. I wrote down, thank God for mistakes. Because what this mistake does is help me grow and develops me as a better person. Mm -hmm. And it's all it is. Because that way you don't, you shouldn't make the same mistake again. Mm -hmm. Watch the rest of this rest unfold. I got two little verses to go. Anybody want to add before I go further? I, I got a question. If, if I can ask whoever can. Yes, it was. Okay. Yes. And that, that, that right there showed you favor because he didn't, there, no, no word in his head that he wanted to put him down, put him in prison. Mm -hmm. I thought that, okay. I when, you don't, when, I, when I did research, he was supposed to die. That's what I thought. Okay. He was going to be put to death. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to say that too, that because Thomas would have put him over everything if he didn't trust him with his wife. Right. Mm -hmm. In my heart, there's because I didn't know the information that. Since it was common practice for women. 
everybody was just acting like they didn't hear stuff because she did that all the time. Mm -hmm. And so the men probably left, I'm thinking, on that day just because they knew what she was up to and they didn't even want to be a part of it. And she does this all the time, so let's go on at it and, and leave. But I, I'm believing also that Hans was so angry because he had to do that. I mean, his position mm -hmm. warned him to have to act. Yes. He now, I mean, yes. That he would have, in his eyes, in his heart, probably felt less than a man if he didn't act like he was angry by his wife. Right. Mm -hmm. you know, so he didn't kill him as he would have mm -hmm. had it been a different situation. Yes. So again, he put him in the highest prayer to be yes. mm -hmm. the next best thing, or the next worst best thing was to actually Yes. <laughs> but I also read, before I go to you, I also read that Potiphar also knew Joseph's character. Yes. He also knew Joseph's character. He already, he already knew what Joseph was all about. But as you said, stated, because of his position, he had to make that decision. But even though he had to make the decision, he didn't do the life sentence. He did it. Next best thing was put him in the king's prison. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yes, ma'am. I was just going to say one quick thing. Sure. Because I, I feel that he still had that sense of confidence in Joseph. Yes. And deep down within, he just didn't believe that he would do that. Yes. So, yes. Knowing that I, I was just hearing her talking, when it was said about his wife, he was a dude. Yes. 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 That confidence was still there regardless of yes. what she said. Mm -hmm. Go back to what y'all were saying. Watch this. He knew Joseph's character, right. but he also knew her character. Right. Right. <laughs> right. And this is the thing is, it, it takes me when you said he knew Joseph's character, it takes us back. The scripture says, no deal. The, the labor of money is a 60 Yes, yeah. exactly. That's a good example right there. Yes, exactly. Exactly. He, 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 knew, he knew he could trust Joseph to read it. Mm -hmm. And to me, that, that's the key to it now. Yeah. You know, can God trust us when you want to do some things? Uh, you want somebody to you know, stay and somebody talking about you, you know, like, I'm coming back to church. I'm, I'm whatever. I'm just sitting there. I don't know nobody say that now. Mm -hmm. I don't know nobody that people are going to see it. But I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying, right. can God trust you in the midst of it? Right. Or you going to lose your shout and your joy? Mm -hmm. God looking for some people that have faith with him and they have and they have faith. He has faith with them and they have faith with him. Yes. See how they know who the midst of everything. God is gonna bring them out. Mm -hmm. God, God is looking for somebody like that. Not no part-time person. Right. Yep. You know, in and out, over here and over there and wherever. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Brother Hill. Uh, one thing of uh, Potiphar knew that if children spoke of this God, that he wasn't lying. He knew that that, that uh, he was telling, telling uh, the truth. And when uh, part of the wife had, had said that she wanted to get your life, and certainly I wanted to do the life put in, in, in a prison where the, the king men were put in the same prison. Mm -hmm. And I, I would say it's sort of all the way through it alone. Mm -hmm. But because I, I have studied all the way through it, that's that was working up to where Joseph was going to be at the end. I mean, put him in the king's king prison. Right. And uh, I was well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say so. I'm going to say so. I'm going to say so. Uh, Sister Lisa. <laughs> well, it just occurred to me that if he knew his wife did this before, he and he knew how good looking Joseph was, and he totally didn't believe it when she said he tried this and I didn't let him. That had to make it really look true that Joseph didn't do it. Not only his, he trusted his wife's lack of integrity probably. You know, why kill a guy when she's obviously lying because she would have done that. Yeah. And then I, I have one other thing about favor. I think of it as favorite. You're God's favorite for that thing. And he picked you as his favorite for that one thing he's picked you for. So his favor goes with that call. Okay. I get ready for that. I'm going to forget this. I just need to say something. I get ready for that. I'm going to read the last two. I'm going to say something.
Look at the last two verses. <laughs> Verse 22. The chief jailer committed to Joseph, Joseph's charge. Watch this. All the prisoners who were in the jail or prison so that whatever was done there, he was responsible for it. You're supposed to, you, you're supposed to be into the death sentence. And now God allowed you to be over all the prisoners in the prison? <laughs> Watch verse 23. <laughs> the chief jailer did not supervise anything under Joseph's charge. Hey, y'all. Hey, I trust you. Just like the prophet. I trust you. I ain't got to go behind you. I ain't got to do all that stuff. I trust you. Watch, watch the rest of this. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Supervised so, so anything under Joseph's charge because the Lord was with him. And whatever he did, the Lord made to prosper. Whatever Joseph did, he calls it to prosper. I wrote down. I'm going to say it again at the end. It was all the setup. <laughs> I, I, I can write that, but I might, I might forget. All this that he's gone through and going through, mm -hmm. it was all the setup, Brother Hill, mm -hmm. to the palace. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 may, I may talk about, I may talk about somewhere in here from the pit to the palace. <laughs> can I talk about the pit for a minute? And then we're going to close. Sometimes you got to go to the pit. Why do you go to the pit? I'm glad you asked me. The pit will cause you some things to happen in your life that will make you be better. The pit will cause you to pray more. Pray more. The pit will. Oh, to pray more. Yeah, pray more. <laughs> Not only will the pit cause you to pray more, it will also humble you the more. Because if you remember last week, he was, because of his, his naiveness, he was a little prideful. <laughs> he was a little arrogant toward his brothers. But the pit will cause you to pray more and cause you to be humble more. Huh? Yes, it, was, it will also cause your character to be shaped. Not only those three elements, but it also make you look at yourself. I ain't all there and the bag of chips. God has got me here for a purpose and a reason. There's got to be a transformation. I got you. There's got to be a transformation in this pit. Because if I'm going to do what God wants me to do. If I'm going to be what God wants me to be, if, I gotta, if I'm going where God wants me to go, I got, there's got to be a transformation in the pit. And you, we, we, we got to have a pit experience. <laughs> we don't like the pit experience, but the pit experience is good for us. <laughs> it's a blessing in the pit. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes. I need deliverance yeah. 
from this. I need to be set free from this. This, this, this thing, this thing, this thing, this thing is a curse. And I need to be delivered from this curse. This is messing me up. It's messing me up for my, 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 oh, my, my destiny. <laughs> and so God, I need you. Okay, give it to me, David. David says in 139 Psalms, he says, search me. <laughs> search me, Lord. I, I don't want nobody to search me. Because Sister Naida may leave some stuff out. Why? Because I'm her brother. She may be over He's my brother. So he be out there. No, no. God won't, God won't get anything. If I allow him to search me, search me thorough. Uh, Evangelist Moore was talking about it a little bit Sunday afternoon. Uh, David was down there and he said, you know all about me. Watch this. You know my downs and uprising. You know my thoughts and follow-up. You know what I'm thinking about next week. <laughs> I can't hide them from you. So, so God, I need you to search me. I need to be delivered. I need to be set free. I need this curse to be broken. And if you don't do it, I can't. If you don't do it, I can't be delivered. Mm -hmm. And when you deliver me, oh, watch what I'm going to say. When you deliver me, I am totally delivered. Yeah. Because sometimes we deliver, try to deliver ourselves, we're not really totally delivered. Mm -hmm. And we need God to deliver us. Yes, yes. And sometimes we need God to save us from us. That's right. yeah. <laughs> it's the enemy that's in me. <laughs> Go ahead. Chapter 41. 
He's going he's gonna, he's gonna to talk about his family because we're going from, we're about to get close to the palace. Right. <laughs> we're about to get close to the palace. But I, we got, I got to get to the, 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 the foretold, uh, the family. And, and Genesis 41, I got to get to, to, to the family. Because he's going to start, as, as Brother Hill said, we're going to see in here, we're going to start to interpret the dreams of others to help others out. Yeah. <laughs> Notice something. I'll probably say it again if I remember. In all that Joseph went through, Joseph will wind up being a blessing to others. <laughs> and you're going to, hold on a second. We're going to find out, because you asked me, we're going to find out how Joseph breaks the curse of the family feud. We're going to find that out. As we get along with these, these, these other chapters, how he breaks the curse of a family feud. Because he can be real nasty to his brothers. He can be real dirty to his brothers who did him dirty, who did him wrong. But you're going to see the God that's in Joseph. And you'll see that how God allowed Joseph to break the family feud. <laughs> yes, ma'am. 